this is a short rib that's been cut in half by the butcher and how we're going to cook it is we're going to brown it in a frying pan in a second uh, and then after that we're going to use about half of this bone broth in the slow cooker there's already a little bit of water in there so we're going to put half of this in and uh, we're going to put it in the slow cooker for a couple of hours we're going to get the short ribs and we're going to seal it so there's a thousand grams of meat here which possibly will be over two days we might have it all in one sitting depends how much I feel full once I start eating just turn the ribs over it literally took about 60 seconds to brown and seal that first so here we go we're going to take the ribs and we're going to put them in here we're going to put the bone broth into the water so just about half of what's left in there Oh, probably a bit too much, but there you go. Right, and this just goes in. So it's been sealed. Oh, doesn't that look good? Does that look good or what? Just put it in on its side. And then we just get the second one. Burn my fingers on the pan. And uh, put that in there as well. And there we go. We're gonna put the lid on. We're going to put it on for a couple of hours. Just um, checking up on the short ribs in the slow cooker. So this has been simmering for two hours. Ooh, that looks good. And we're going to now take it out to rest for about 15 minutes. And then the stock we're going to put into a saucepan and reduce. So it's just going to rest like this. Oh wow, it looks good. It's just going to rest like this for about 15 minutes and then it will be devoured. So just a little addition, this fat is quite soft still. So we're going to actually fry the fat to crisp it up a bit. So the fat has just been trimmed off the ribs and there it is. It's going to be just crisped up. And we've put the, um, the liquid into a saucepan and we're going to reduce that. So here we are crisping up all the fats. We've added a little bit of tallow to the pan. And this is reducing away nicely. And there are the beef ribs. A very hearty snack, if you ask me. And I will put the reduced sauce on it in a minute. Just gonna tip on the reduced gravy. And that's our short ribs. Slow cooked for a couple of hours reduced juice with the boiled and broth bone broth nothing else so when you come back from the butcher you get stewing beef You've got fillet, which obviously be sliced up. Obviously the free range eggs, rump steak, a very interesting dog. A very interested dog, I should say. Rump steak, lamb steaks, and more free range eggs. So not a bad shopping haul just from this morning. So that's what a fillet steak looks like before it's all chopped up into steaks and there is the rump steaks which is so big we're gonna have to cut in half and there is the stewing beef and a very 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 excited dog very excited so the tail of the fillet is cut off so Rupert's gonna be one lucky dog and get all of that at some point and then you just make the steaks from the fillet I like big juicy thick Fillet steaks. And obviously we are still being watched by this wonderful dog. <laughs> so just so you know, that's what the shopping hall looks like on Saturday morning. Some of that will go into the freezer and some will be eaten fresh. He is one lucky dog poor. to get such. Poor, proper poor. Come on, where's that paw? Thank you. And there's our raw carnivore dog having a little bit of fillet tail.
So a lot of people think that the carnivore diet and carnivore breakfasts are a bit samey. Normally the same people that have cereal every single morning of their entire life. So we're going to look at bacon and eggs and we're going to make it look a little bit different. So we've chopped up some bacon, we've whisked up some eggs and the, this breakfast is going to be amazing but looks slightly different. So for all those people that love cereal every morning, push that to one side, get rid of the grains, get rid of the carbohydrates and start having a healthy breakfast which is very versatile. So in goes the scrambled egg into the preheated saucepan that has uh, got tallow in it. We've all got the tallow. Free range eggs, free range eggs from the local butcher. And then put the bacon that you pre-fried into the scrambled egg, which is in the saucepan with the tallow, and then just give it a mix. So there it, there it is, scrambled egg, a little bit of shredded cheese on the top and bacon, just looking slightly different and also yummy. I'm gonna get off the phone now and eat it. So it's the afternoon and we are doing a couple of bits of roasting. We have 380 grams each, they're lamb steaks, they're gonna be roasted. And the beef ribs that we did yesterday, uh, which we did in the slow cooker, so these have been in the slow cooker already. They're going to be roasted and we're going to compare the taste of straight out of the slow cooker and eaten and then slow cooked and then roasted and eaten. So if you notice now, I've just got the short ribs and I've put tallow all over it and underneath it and we're going to wrap it in tin foil when we roast the short ribs. So there are the short ribs they've gone in and they're going to be done at 180 for about 40 minutes and the lamb steaks sack. Hi there, well it's now 20 past four in the afternoon and we're gonna make a baked omelette. So there's a pint of cream there and three eggs, three whole eggs put in there. We're gonna whisk that up and then put, the into, put it into a uh, buttered baking tray. Right, so some shredded up red Leicester cheese and some shredded up cheddar cheese. That's gonna go in with the uh, baked omelette. Uh, pan that's already and then tipping in the mixture of cream and eggs on top of the cheese into the pan Cream and egg is in the pan and now we're going to also then top it with some more red Leicester shredded cheddar cheese And there it is in the pan we're going to do the baked omelette which I think you've seen before but uh, I didn't do a particularly good video of it, so here it is now. In the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at 170. Just checking on the roasted short ribs, I think they need a little bit longer. Here are the roasted lamb steaks looking absolutely amazing. Here is the short ribs that we slow cooked yesterday and we've now roasted for about 40 minutes, mainly with foil on, but then for the last 10 minutes it's been with the foil off. This is Rupert the Raw Carnivore Dog's plate tonight. So some tripe, a duck neck and some steak. And we're trying them on a different way of feeding. We've been using a bowl, but um, he likes to take the food out of the bowl and put it onto the floor. So we're going to try them with sort of this feeding tray. So this is my food for tonight. We have a lamb steak and we have short ribs that were slow cooked yesterday, like I say, and now roasted. And I'll tell you what's best between um, roasted and slow cooked. Can't wait. Just sitting down to tuck into this now uh, and it's 5 p.m. on a Saturday evening. So I will be going to bed about 11. So that's a good six hours. Just so you can have a closer look at a short rib. It is so succulent, you would not believe it. Absolutely beautiful. So here's the amazing baked omelette, which you've seen being put together and assembled. Can't wait to eat this once it's cooled.